up guys, Lane here today. I just want to start this video off by saying we're going to Florida tomorrow. And the day this video is up, it might not be June 23rd because... Okay, listen here. This video, let's say, might not be going up tomorrow because we wake up at like 5 in the morning. We get everything ready to leave. But do you really think they want to wait 30 minutes for me to upload a video? Mm -mm. And then, if you guys do want a video, like, you guys are going to have to wait till 8 o'clock. I mean, at least it's a video, you know? So this video is probably going up at 8 o'clock, I think. If not, like, 6 in the morning, so. But I just want to start this off by saying, NBA draft is tonight! But we have the third pick because we traded it with 76 or so. I don't know if I even mentioned this, but yeah, we're going to Florida tomorrow. I, if you shouldn't notice that by what I was saying. So, I want to talk about the NBA today. Like, so they're saying Chris Paul and Blake Griffin are going to the Rockets. Dang, I th that'll be a super team. Like, holy shoot. And why the heck would they trade D'Angelo Russell? D'Angelo Russell and Timothy Mozgov? For Brook Lopez, he's been in the NBA for nine years now. It's going to be his ninth season. All right. Dwight Howard just got traded for a bunch of nobodies. Like, nobody even cares about him anymore. Damn, I'm trying to think of who it is, but somebody got traded off of the Pelicans, and he's on the, um, I, I don't know. I forgot. But, guys, it's almost 100% chance that Paul George is getting traded. Everybody, everybody wants to trade for him. Like, we got the Celtics. Lakers, I think the Clippers, possibly, I think the Grizzlies, I can, I, I can just imagine him in one of those jerseys, so, but you never know, he might stay on the um, Pacers, I don't know why I said there's a 100% chance of him getting traded, pretty sure I said that, and no there's not, because there's never a 100% chance of anybody getting traded, unless they got traded the day, wow guys, but they're saying Dwayne Wade will go to the Cavaliers, Possibly to team up with LeBron. But LeBron says he wants to go to L.A. I don't know if it's the Lakers or the Clippers. I'd assume he wants to go to the Lakers. But why would you go to L.A., bro? But the Lakers going to be a super team. Shout out to Troy Dam because he's going to be really happy if LeBron goes there. Because it's already going to be a super team. They just traded D'Angelo Russell. Horrible trade. But they traded them both so they could have Lonzo Ball on the team. They needed some space. And probably cleared out some room so they could possibly get Paul George. All right, but let's go with my draft predictions, okay? All right, so I'm, yeah, this is my draft prediction. To a lot of your picks, all right? So I think by the first pick, 76ers are obviously going to select Marco Fultz because Lonzo Ball wants to go to the Lakers, and why would they pick Jason Tatum with the first pick? So, they're always asking, do you think the 76ers will make the playoffs next year? And honestly, if they pick up Markel Fultz, it, it brings up their chances, okay? But, hopefully they don't trade Joel Embiid, because I don't know what they traded for the first pick. Oh, shoot. <laughs> they better trade something pretty good, because... We gave up our first pick, but they did have the third pick, so it's not too bad. With the second pick, I'm almost 100% positive they're picking up Lonzo Ball because Lonzo Ball like really wants to go to the Lakers, and who would say no to Lonzo Ball? Be honest here. But I mean, there's a chance he could be the first pick, but I re I really don't think anybody wants to pick him up just because he wants to go to the Lakers and his dad's the Var Ball, so. You know, but with the third pick, our Boston Celtics. Uh, okay, listen, I like Damian Lillard. Okay, our Boston Celtics, they're gonna pick up Jason Tatum. I already, okay, I think so. Like they might pick up Damian Fox, but I think we're gonna pick up D Jason Tatum. Pull up, shoot, Jason Tatum. Woo, my money. Pull up, shoot, shoot, Jason Tatum. Woo. I'm even one percent positive, um, honest. That actually took a while to get on. Sorry, guys. I don't really watch college basketball. I actually, I don't watch it at all. I just watch it when we go to, to eat because it's on. So, 
All the really all the names I know is De'Aaron Fox, Lonzo Ball, Marco Fultz, Jason Tatum. I feel like I'm missing someone. Like seriously, but I got the draft prospects right. Draft prospects right here. So with the fourth pick, I think they're picking up De'Aaron Fox. I'm not sure if he's great or not, but I'm looking at his stats right here. He's, oh shoot. Dude, he looks way taller in 2K. I, I did not know he was a point guard. The reason I think they're picking up De'Aaron Fox is, one, there's no way Jason Tatum's getting fourth pick. Okay, there's there's about a 50-50 chance, actually. Phoenix Suns, though, they're pretty lucky to pick up De'Aaron Fox if they do. They'll actually get be able to get rid of Eric Bledsoe and put him on the bench. He runs point guard, right? Because I know Devin Booker runs shooting guard, so... I'll probably put him on the bench, which is... No, they could probably start him on the bench. And then Eric Bledsoe is really in his prime right now. So they'll be putting Mark up. Darren Fox in the starting lineup probably the next year if he does good. Guys, they're horrible. Don't think I'm passing off of them. But they're like saying... They're saying Darren Fox, second pick, first pick is Mark up full stop. And they're saying fifth pick is Lonzo Ball. Mm mm. With fifth pick, I think it's either going to be Josh Jackson or Dan Fox. But I chose to go with Josh Josh Jackson because I barely know him at all. So, guys, right now, R.I.P. the dude he got. It's not funny. Rest in peace to the dude he got hit in the back of the head with a log inside of a hurricane. I don't know why he was playing outside in the hurricane, but. Also, guys, the top of that storm said Missouri, but luckily we're leaving tomorrow. All right, back to Josh Jackson. So with the fifth pick, I'm pretty sure it goes to the Kings. Josh Jackson, what are you? He's a... Uh... Okay, I just went past it. All right, small forward. So that's Rudy Gay, I think. I'm pretty sure that's Rudy Gay because I'm on their team on my career. So Rudy Gay, he's old as crap. They're definitely putting him on the bench. God dang, Rudy Gay. You do not need to play anymore. He's six foot eight in college. Okay, that, that, that might not seem too big, but I have never seen a big college player like that. So, yeah, I don't think there's really a chance that Rudy Gay's staying in the starting lineup, but he might since they're, since he's like, you can rely on him. You can, he's just a team player. All right, I know who this dude is. The sixth pick, I think, is going to go to Jonathan Isaac. Um, I don't know who has the sixth pick. In fact, wow. Already, I did not know D'Angelo Russell got traded. They're saying, who, which point guard made the more three-pointers last season? Trey Burke, Trey Burke, Washington Wizards. Reggie Jackson, Detroit Pistons. D'Angelo Russell, Brooklyn Nets already? What the heck? All right, so the Orlando Magic will be picking up. Jonathan Isaac, six foot eleven. Doesn't tell me what he is, but I'm assuming he's a power forward or a center. So, um, he be drafted to the Orlando Magic. He was their center, Nikola Pe Pekovic. No, I don't know. It's something Nikola something. All right, don't get mad at me. I don't know if that's the one on the Timberwolves or the Magic. But that dude will probably be going on the bench. All right, seventh pick goes to uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. I think they're picking up Dennis Smith, boy. And dang. so Timberwolves do, really don't have a point guard, obviously. It's, it's it Zach Levine or Chris Dunn running their point guard. And I think Chris, Bun run, Chris Dunn runs the bench. So he'd be their six foot three point guard. And I'm guessing he'd go on the bench. All right, so the eighth pick goes to the New York Knicks, and I know who this dude is. I think you're gonna pick up Malik Monk, which is six foot three, another point guard, and they need a point guard because they're saying Eric Rose is possible chance he's going to the Timberwolves. So either way, they're both picking up point guards. So, well, at least I think. So Derrick Rose going on the bench either way, I think, because personally, I put Malik Monk over Derrick Rose because. He's not doing good anymore. All right, so the ninth pick goes to Dallas Mavericks. And I think they're picking up Zach Collins, seven foot tall, seven feet tall. Um, 
He's at Collins again, going to the Dallas Mavericks, and who's their center? Well, it's kind of good that I don't know. That means he's obviously starting, I'm pretty sure. All right, so obviously Sacramento stole the Pelicans pick for 10th. So they got, because, you know, they got Marcus Cousins. So I think you're going to be picking up Frank Nidalinka. Nidalinka. Kina. I don't know how to say his name. He is a six foot five point guard, apparently. I never heard of one of those. Um, he's only 18, too. So I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. He's going on the bench. That's what I'm thinking. Because the Kings starting point guard Darren Collinson. And he's old as crap. I let White Boy on the bench, though. All right, so with you love of the pick, I think Charlotte Hornets are going to pick up Lori Markkanen from Arizona. He's a seven. Dude, how tall are people in college? He's a power forward and he's seven feet tall. God. I think he's going to be. Wait, who has their pick again? Oh, Charlotte. I think he's going to be their starting power f um, center. Wait. Got it. Dwight Howard's your starting center now, I'm guessing. I, no way he's running. No way he's running power forward. He's seven foot tall. Come on. He's seven feet. I don't know. Seven feet or seven foot. Sorry, bro. But um, he's probably going on the bench. All right, 12th pick goes to Detroit. Shout, shout out to um, Cody. But I think you guys are picking up Donovan Mitchell. That's a good pick for the 12th. So, six foot three. You guys need a new point guard. Reggie Jackson. Bye-bye, going on the bench. Guys, Reggie Jackson's just he's not doing too well right now. Well, at least by the looks of 2K, he's not. So so the 13th pick goes to the Denver Nuggets, and I think they're picking up Luke Kennard, 6'5", six foot six foot which is a shooting guard. Um, Isn't Jamal Murray their shooting guard? Jamal Murray, whatever. Well, I think Jamal Murray could run point guard, I think. Yeah. Luke Kennard could run shooting guard, but I think Luke Kennard's going on the bench just because he's 13th. So I think 14 is the end of the draft lottery, right? And I think they're picking up, hmm, it's kind of hard because they all kind of suck right now. I'm, I'm going to make this decision. All right, guys, so they had two people down in front of this, but they were both centers, and why would they put, wait, do they do I think they have a lot of big men on the team, so I don't think. Wait, yeah, uh, Chris Paul. So I think they're picking up Harry Giles Hunt. Yeah, Giles Giles, something like that. He's six foot eleven. I think they. I think he can play their power forward or their center off the bench, something like that. I just think he can. So that's me today, guys. It's just gonna take a long time to edit. That's me today, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Remember that this will probably go up at either like 8 or 9 o'clock, maybe even 10 or 11, because we don't stop driving until it gets like dark, all right? So just know, please do not unsubscribe for this. It's not my fault. I'm going on vacation, all right? I need some time off. Um, really? Well, so remember this video. Don't get mad if it goes up at 6 in the morning either and it's buzzing your phone. So that's me today, guys. That's about it. That's me today, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below for some new video ideas. And peace. So back to what I was saying.